Hello, Coloritaville, and welcome to Color with Donna. And today's video, which is my finished images for the month of November. Oh, it has been a crazy, crazy month. <clears throat> you guys are going to have to forgive me. I am still trying to get over whatever this mess is that I've had. Um, as you guys know, I did test negative, but I've got to go back and get tested next week again just to make sure. It's not going to surprise me if it comes back um, with antibodies when I get the antibodies test, but we shall see. But thank you guys for being so patient with me um, over the past week or so because it has been an insane week for me. I am actually trying out a new microphone today. This is my leveler microphone that just attaches to my um, shirt. So I'm hoping the sounds all right. I will try to um, check that before I upload and make any adjustments that I can make. But I am hoping that it works out well. I'm trying out different types of microphones and things like that to see what maybe will work out best. So yeah. So anyway, let's jump on in to the video. I do not have these in any particular order or anything. I just brought all the books over and sat them on the desk. So we're just going to jump in and go through these. I do have some buddy colors. So as I get to those, I'll probably set them off to the side and try to do them at the end of the video because I want to share the video or the pictures um, from my buddies who colored with me. So stay tuned for that at the end of the video. And I am just going to try, hopefully this isn't loud for you guys. I'm going to move this mic just a tad bit because I think maybe it needed to be a little closer. Okay. Hopefully that didn't make a lot of noise for you guys. I'm so worried about this kind of rubbing against my shirt and making noise, but we'll see. Okay. So the first book I colored in was a Quirkles Masterpieces. I actually found this at Ollie's and I didn't put, I didn't put, um, tags on the books that I was coloring in for the first time. So I'll just have to kind of flip through and find the images. Okay. So I did this one of the Mona Lisa and I think maybe I was supposed to leave the ones that weren't numbered just white. But for me, that was just too weird um, to just have those white spots. So I just added a contrasting color in there. And this is how my Mona Lisa turned out. I actually enjoyed doing this. It was um, a new and neat experience. And yeah, so I think I'll be working in this book some more. Um, it has several different other um, images. Look away, look away if you guys don't want to see this. I like to see this kind of stuff at the end of the books, but. Okay, so that's my corkles. And then I did one in a color quest animals. This is an, an extreme challenges to complete and color. And I did this one actually has like squares and triangles and octagons and some regular color by number also. I did this one. These are the little octagons and I did the a penguin. I think it turned out really nice. I went in with my fine liners and did this one. I believe these were the Ohuhu and the Arteza fine liners. So yeah, I think it turned out really nice. I enjoyed this. It was, it was challenging. It really was. It was different, but I truly enjoyed it a lot. So I do recommend these type books to anybody who's looking for something a little different. I'm going to show you guys the back. So look away for those of you who don't want to see this. And these are the images that you can find in the book. And they're really cute. And that's Color Quest Animals by John Woodcock. Now, I used to have this coloring book and I saw it was a, a while ago when it first popped up in Dollar General and I could not find my copy. I don't know what I've done with it, but I believe it was Jamie over at Jamie's Coloring Love who had the book and it made me go, 
mm, I gotta have it again. So I did buy it off of Amazon. It is Strawberry Shortcake Advanced Coloring. Thank you, Jamie, for reminding me and making me look for mine and I couldn't find it. So, <laughs> but I do love Strawberry Shortcake. Um, I grew up with Strawberry Shortcake, Rainbow Bright, Hello Kitty, things like that. Um, loved it. Shirt Tails, Gangs, Care Bears. Yes. So I picked this one up off of Amazon. Um, I actually did run to a couple Dollar Generals first because they were $3 there and none of the Dollar Generals had them anymore. This book is about $5.50 maybe on Amazon, so it's still not terrible. And the paper in these pages are white and they're nice and thick and they are just a complete joy to work with. So I love the book so much. And I did several little images in here. I did the Purple Pie Man. And um, I did this with uh, alcohol marker and gel pens. And then I did a strawberry shortcake here. She is done in um, alcohol marker. I don't think I see any gel pen on her. Well, yeah, there's some white gel pen in her hat and on the butterfly. Yep, but the rest is alcohol marker. Sorry about having to flip through, but it was just easier not to waste tags if the book had never been colored in. Okay, so I did the Purple Pie Man Sidekick here and um, Sour Grapes. And I did this one in alcohol marker and gel pens. I think she turned out really cute. Oh. Moment when you're like, I think I skipped one. Okay, I did this one here, like the wallpaper image of strawberry shortcake. And I did these in gel pens and alcohol marker. I actually used um, my neon gel pens, some also, and my pastel gel pens. And then I did Huckleberry Pie. This is all gel pen background, gel pen for his shoes and his pants, his shirt. Um, I believe this is mostly gel pen, to be honest. Yes, see his hat here, his skin and the skin tone of the dog. That is the only thing that was alcohol marker. All of the rest is gel pens either pastel, neon, or glitter. And you see the gel pens worked really good on this paper too. I love these Bend in Advance coloring. This is, straw, uh, here's one of Strawberry Shortcake with the birthday. It says, life is short, eat the frosting first. Um, I believe her hat, yes, her hat, her skin, and her pants here are alcohol marker, and all the rest is gel pens. I was having a lot of fun with my gel pens this month. And I did her strawberry shortcake and her friends here. Um, I believe this is, is it raspberry tart? And I can't remember her name. I had to look it up because I couldn't remember who she was. And now I can't remember again. And then this is strawberry shortcake. So yeah, and this is um, mostly all alcohol marker and some gel pen. I believe that's it. Yep. So that's it. That was my colorings from Strawberry Shortcake Advanced Coloring Book. I'm going to save the winter miniatures because I do have a buddy color in that. So I'm going to put this one off to the side. Okay, I colored in Creative Haven Christmas Charm by Teresa Goodrich, and I colored this one here, and I want to tell you guys how much fun I had with this. Um, I have um, glossy accents all on the snow and um, some glitter gel pens on the leaves, but what I wanted to show you guys most about this is do you see how, um, I mean, I think I'm not like bragging or anything, but I think it turned out really, really well. And this was done with Zebra Click Arts. Yes, these were the Click Arts that I used for this. 
I'm trying to remember. I think I may have used, maybe have used the Zebra Mild Liners somewhere. Maybe in these leaves. I can't remember. But the majority of this is the Click Arts. And it did really, really well at not, um, at not being super streaky and all of that. I believe, you know what, this is not the picture I did with Click Arts. Here I am telling you guys all this. This is alcohol marker, the majority. Okay, there is one in here done with the Click Arts. I was looking at it going, I'm not sure about this because, okay, <laughs> this was actually my alcohol marker page. Let's find the other one. Maybe it was in, it was in the other Teresa Goodrich book. There's, that had to have been alcohol markers because of the way it bled, right? <laughs> okay. All right. We'll get to the other book because I know I did one and I thought it turned out great, but apparently it was in um, last year's Teresa Goodrich book. So we'll get to that. Sorry, guys. Let's see if I can find it next while I'm thinking about it. Oh. Oh, it's, I don't know, creative, was it creative Chris, not creative Christmas, right? Um, oh, here it is, country Christmas. Oh, and it's so far down, I'm afraid I'm going to drop all these books, maybe not. Okay, sorry, let's, let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> creative Haven, Country Christmas by Teresa Goodridge, and... Yes, this one, this is all click arts and it does have a little of the um, zebra mild liners like in the lights and things. This is definitely the one. <laughs> so yes, so I have gel pen and zebra click arts and a little bit of glossy accents on the water at the bottom of the tree here. and. Um, some of the zebra mild liners for the lights and yes this is how they did have some bleed through um, shadowing bleed through onto the paper so they do bleed um, you guys know what the country our creative haven christmas is like it's not you know the creative haven books it's not super thick paper but it's it's good paper so I would be a little cautious with the click arts if you guys are using the click arts, but I do love my click arts. I think they work really, really well. And as you see, they got really, really good coverage here um, on a full coloring page. So I was very, very happy with that. And yes, so I hope you guys like that. And that was the only one I did in there. Okay, and then I did one in Disney Princesses, Art of Coloring, 100 Images to Inspire. Sorry, the gold foil is wanting to just shine, shine, shine with the light. I believe I only did one in here. And it is, yes. Okay, I did Ariel. Yes. I did Ariel in Prismacolor pencils, gel pens and glossy accents on all of the um, little water bubbles. <laughs> so I think Ariel turned out really good and that was with my pencils. So as you guys see, I am holding true to my promise to start using my pencils more. Right now, I am more comfortable, I think, with the Prismas because they just tend to just melt together so wonderfully. But, yep. Yep, yep. See, no bleed through with the gel pens, so that was wonderful. Okay, I colored in a Cheetah Girls a coloring book. Anime, a color by number. This is a color Clistopia book. This is a white background book. I don't have any of the black background books yet. I uh, colored this little chibi girl here, and I used Teo Tree marker 
and gel pen for the white lines. And I colored this cutie here. Again, Teo Tree marker and gel pen for the line work. And that's it for that book. Okay, I did um, a few pages. Oh, I'm finding all of my blotter pages now. I've been having to get new blotter pages. So apparently what I'm doing is just finishing up with a book and putting the book up and leaving the blotter page in. And then I can't find my blotter page. Okay, so Christmas winter time mandalas. I have two. Oh, no, I can't show you this because that's my buddy color. I'm going to have to wait until the end on that one. Okay, but I've got this one. Um, I did this one in gel pens and lots of different gel pens and um, some alcohol marker. I'm going to put this over to the side so I can show my body colors. These are cute, cute, cute. Do you see these? Like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Deb sent these to me. And they're actually in a cute little book. And I was so happy to get them. <laughs> Look at this Wonderland sticky notes. I have no idea where she got these. But she had sent them to me. And I love it. You have the Cheshire Cat, Tweedledee, Tweedledum. And I can never remember the little caterpillar's name. Ans Anslum, I think. Anslum, Ans Anslum, something like that. And then it's got the while you were out down the rabbit hole notes. But they're just a cute, cute little thing. And I used a few of those. So that's why I said I really didn't want to waste this month. So if it was a new book that I had never colored in, I didn't use any of the little page things because it would just break my heart too bad. <laughs> Next, I have the Hello Kitty and Friends coloring book. This was actually Happy Mail from the beautiful, lovely Shannon. Thank you so much, Shannon. I, as you're going to see, I had so much fun in this book. I did this one here in gel pen. I actually used the um, Tierra gel pens that Shannon sent along with the book to do most of the um, background work. And then I used other gel pens also because I didn't want to really waste a lot of um, the Tierras. The Tierras are very, very similar to the Stardust. They are um, color gem colors. So they're very, very pretty. And I want to also do the little Hello Kitty here. And then I did this one. And I did this one in um, Posca pen. This is Posca um, pastels and also Posca glitter. And this is, so this is pretty much all Posca. So I think they turned out really well. Um, yeah. And then I did the little Hello Kitty here on this side of the page. I did this one in different types of gel pens. And I did this little Hello Kitty on the corner. I think that's all that I did in this book so far. Yep. So thank you so much, Shannon. I truly adore the book. It was so kind of you to send it to me. Um, it kept me company while I have felt terrible lately. <laughs> so thank you so much. Very, very much appreciated. All right, so I colored in one color animal stencils. This is a Sun Life drawing book. And I did this one and this one, um, I believe I did on camera, at least the majority of it on camera. Um, I think the video was titled How to Kill a Gel Pen because let me tell you, it's um, the outline I did all in gel pen and it did pretty much end a gel pen's life, but that's okay. <laughs> but I think it turned out very pretty. I enjoyed it. <clears throat> this is a book that Deb had sent in a box. It was the same box that these little cuties came in. It was books that she had that she wasn't coloring in anymore. And she wanted to give me a chance to look through them. 
um, there's also going to be some of those books in my Christmas giveaways, like the books that I had um, extras of and things like that. So yeah, so thanks Deb for sending these. I really did enjoy it. This was my first shot at getting to try animal stencils and I really did enjoy them. I did. I did. I did. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I colored in this book. Let me see. Or it could have just accidentally got put over here, but I'm pretty sure I colored in this book. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, color my number animal stencils. This is also a Sun Life drawing. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I did this one here. Um, I used my gel pens and I, maybe you can see there is glitter that has moved all over, but it's okay. It's glitter. I love glitter. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. And this was also in the box that Deb sent. So, yep. Thank you, Deb. Wonderful. I enjoyed it so much. And then Ava Brown, beautiful women coloring book. Um, I don't have a lot. Some of my Ava Browns that I have colored in aren't over here. Well, it's okay. Okay, so I colored this one as like my review um, picture for the book, and I really enjoyed it. This is um, alcohol marker background, correct? Yes. And alcohol marker um, base. As you can see, I just put a light base down of um, alcohol marker on the skin and things. And then I went in with my Prismacolors and I actually um, went over everything with the Prisma to give it the shadows and depth. Like you see with the flowers, it was a very light yellow. And then this is how the flowers look. So yeah, it was a lot of fun doing that. I enjoyed it. And then I went in with some stickles around her eyes for her eye makeup and on her lipstick. And I think it turned out very, very well. I'm impressed. I had fun. Thank you, Ava Brown, as always, for sending the book for me to review. Um, loads and loads and loads of fun. Or should I say, Paul and Lindsay, thank you so much. For those of you who do not know, Ava Brown is a pen name. Um, they, Paul and Lindsay, are a married couple who have started the business and are trying to grow the business. I think they're doing a wonderful job. And they just let everybody know that over in their Facebook group. So I thought I would say that instead of saying thanks, Ava Brown. Thanks to the people at Ava Brown. I guess I should say thank you, Paul and Lindsay. I appreciate being able to review your hard copies of your books and do flip throughs and things for you so much. Thanks. Okay. Then I purchased, of course, a million unicorns this month and I had to color in it and I really had fun with it. I truly did. I used my Prisma color um, pencils. The only thing is it was so bright and beautiful. And then when I put the pastel over it, it really dulled out my pencils because some of the pastel got over here. And I used hairspray as a sealer, but as you can see, look, and I've, I've been telling, I mean, I've said this to a couple people, my hairspray does not seem to do a very good job. I'm going to have to get some real sealer. <laughs> so, yep, I did that one. I had a lot of fun with it. Truly, truly did. Okay, this is a buddy color, so let me put that over there. And then I had picked up, oh, sorry, I had picked up a Spiroglyphics at Ollie's. I tried to take the price tag off so you could see the title better, and these stickers are terrible at coming off. I did two in here. Um, I did Jan, I did Madonna, because, you know, I love Madonna. So I did do Madonna. And... Then I used highlighters to see how it would work. 
well, first I went, I went across this with black because it says you can do all kinds of different things. So I did the lines in black and then in between the lines, I did highlighters thinking it would make something really pretty and neat. And it kind of ran together. I'm not, don't think I'll do this again, but I did Janice Joplin. I hope you guys can make Janice out. Um, but I went around, like I said, with black first and did the black lines. And then I used highlighters in between the lines. I thought it would give it something a little extra. But to me, it kind of makes it look like it kind of ran together. I don't know. You tell me what you think. Leave me a comment. Okay. All right. You guys just seen this little cutie in my color and chat. Isn't it a cute little book? It's so little and I love it. I love it. I do. But I did the winter and I did the autumn. So if you watched the color and chat, you saw all of the autumn. And then uh, this is how the winter completed. So, yep, I enjoyed this. This is just a cute, cute little book. Um, they cost about $4.99, I think, on Amazon. But I really do like it. Even, you know, I, at first I thought, oh, I'd never, I'm not going to like it. It's so little. But, no, I love it. And I just want to, like, play with it because it's so cute. <laughs> it's just adorable. And then I have the I Heart Unicorns book. And of course, these are smaller books also. These are the, um, okay, I did uh, this one here. And this is all gel pens. And I thought I did another one. Yes, I did. And I did this one. Cute little books. Okay. Um, all right. So I colored in Viva La Color Christmas that I picked up at Ollie's. And I did this one. And let me tell you, I really enjoyed this. This was kind of like the, the Color Questopia books where. Um, of course, it's not color by number, but all of this, these dark, the, the black outlines that you see, they were just open lines. And so I colored the images and then I took gel pen and went in to all of the open line art and um, blacked those in. And I think it turned out really well. I really, really enjoyed doing that. I thought it was a neat little twist. And I've seen images like that before and I've always kind of skipped over them. But since I have tackled the color questopia i thought hey why not so i tried it and i actually did enjoy it and i think that's it yep so did that okay. and then i colored in my i heart elves coloring book sorry for all the flipping i'm having to do guys but um i know i colored in this book here we go but i mean i didn't want to waste the things on books i'd never colored in before so I did this one and let me tell you what, give me just a second. I need to take a sip of my drink. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Let me tell you what I did this picture with my Prismacolor pencils. Or maybe Arteza's, but I think it was Prisma. But anyway, I did the little elves first and I'm like, okay, I'm doing good. And then I started working on the um, toy soldiers or nutcrackers, whichever you would prefer. And I tell you what, I didn't think I was ever going to finish this image. And I was so happy what I did. So yes, um, Mark, our pencils are much slower but I, I'm enjoying them when I do use them, but they are so much slower. And then I took a glitter paint and put in the background of this. So can you guys see? Yeah, to make a cute little background. That's what I did with that one. I loved it. It was a lot of fun. And that's the only one I did in there. Yep. I hope I can get something colored in here in December. Um, I know we're going to be really busy with these color longs, but I'm hoping, excuse me if you guys heard that. <laughs> okay, Co 
color by number Christmas Mandela. Um, I picked this one up. Oh, I believe it was on the two for th three for two deal. This is a Sun Life drawing book, I believe. Either that or it was just on sale. I only did one in here. And I still stand by what I say. I wouldn't choose some of the colors that they choose in these color by numbers, but it's okay. So I did this one. And you know what? I believe I did this with Crayola Super Tips. Because I can see some, like, uh, some lines and things. Yes. See, there's really not hardly any bleed through coming through here. This was Crayola Super Tips. I wanted to test out some super tips in those kind of books. All right, so I colored in my Keep Merry and Color On 75 Yuletide Designs. I did this one. This is all gel pen and, you know, I was just watching TV, watching a movie or whatnot, and I just decided, Ugh. so I started laying down the gel pen, and I think it turned out okay. I don't think I colored anything else. Oh, oh, I guess I did. Did I see two I actually colored? No. And I did this little one here. The gel pen smudged. Can you see? I was like, oh no, but it's okay. Yep, I had fun with it. And I think this is alcohol marker base, yes. And then I used paint pens to do the little doodads. And it was the paint that actually smeared. All right. Now, this book, I love this book, guys. Posh Secret Garden Glitter. Glitter book, guys. Glitter book. And these are not very expensive. Do you see how this glitter shine on here? Well, it's got this in the book too. And it has this glitter. The way it works, okay, is you have like the image. And look at the shine. Though That's glitter that's already on the page. Yeah. And then you can color over that. Or yeah, I guess you could leave the glitter parts clear. But it's really neat. But I will tell you something about this book. It has a really weird smell. Really weird smell. I think it's maybe this glitter stuff I don't know do you guys see my head I guess you did a little bit but okay yeah so the glitter is a little stinky but look at this it's it's such a it's a cute book and it's got all this glitter in it and I love it but this is available on Amazon gorgeous 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 love it love it love it love it love it And I did the pumpkin in here. And of course I colored over the glitter, but this is what you're left with. And it kind of reminds me of the glossy accents when you color over it, the way it shines. There is glitter in that shine. There is, but it's super shiny. So it kind of reminds me of the glossy accents, but it's a really neat book, guys, and they have this one, and then they have um, one that's called Bohemian over there also with the glitter. Um, check down in the description. I have my Amazon link if you want to support me. If you go over there, just click on my Amazon link and go over. That way I get credit for any of your purchases. Um, it helps me out so much, and it doesn't have to be a product link, just my Amazon link down below if you're interested, and that would help me, but it's, it's a gorgeous book. I love it. It was something neat. I had never seen that before. All right, so I colored in Mermaids, a coloring book by Ava Brown, and I colored this one as my review picture, and I'm going to tell you, I really like the way it turned out. Um, I used alcohol markers and then I went in with gel pens to shine everything up really good. And then I used glossy accents on all of the water bubbles. I think it turned out really nice. 
again, thank you, Paul and Lindsay, the people over at Ava Brown for sending me the review copy. All right, I colored in Disney's Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, 100 images to inspire creativity. And I colored like a wallpaper image, just like I said, watching TV and just wanting something to color. And then I colored Sally, correct? Um, yeah, I colored her. I think she turned out really cool. I enjoyed it so much. And she is actually colored in Prismacolor pencils. And then I came over and added some gel pen onto those. And then the background is all gel pen. So yeah, I really, really like this book. It's it does have a lot of wallpapery images, but it also has other images. So again, my link's down below if you guys are interested and if you're a fan of The Nightmare Before Christmas and Tim Burton's work, because it is a really cute book. I do like it a lot. I colored in the Christmas coloring book by Design Originals. This is uh, Thania McArdle. Thania? Thania? So I was saying, I know I colored it. It wouldn't be over here if I didn't color it. I didn't color this pic. Okay, that's what I was saying. I did not color this picture. That's one of the samples. <laughs> I'm like, that's not me. Okay. Let me find what I really colored now, guys. Okay, this is what I did. I basically tried to copy this one, and this is my copy of it. So, you know. Okay. Now that I've made myself giggle. And I colored in a stained glass color by number... And I colored uh, this one here with Santa reading Jack Frost with all the little animals. And then we colored this one in a, a color and chat. So that was fun. I colored in 50 autumn miniatures and there's another blotter page. <laughs> oh, all my blotter pages. Okay, so I did this one here, and you guys got to see this in a speed color. That was my first, um, I believe, speed color that I put up for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed that. I did do a marker base, but then I went back in and used pencils for shading and things like that. I feel like my books are going to start falling. Okay, so I colored in 50 Autumn Mandalas. And I colored this one. And it's pretty sure this was a color in chat. And then I finished it up as a speed color. But again, I did my base in um, pencil. And then I went back in with, or I did my base in marker. And I went back in with pencil. So there's my marker base. And then this is what... I enjoyed that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, this is Winter Wonderland. Hello, Angel. Um, Angela Van Dam. And I just did this one just for fun. I enjoyed it. And you see the shine on those. Those are those GCSM um, gel pens that are supposed to be dual hybrid that I just reviewed a couple days ago or put the view, review up just a couple days ago. That is how those look. And I think that's it on here. Yep. Okay. 
and I did one in Christmas mandalas by Camellia and Jocolva. Um, these were actually done with zebra mild liners is what this one was colored in and then I did use some gel pens just for a few little accents and again even the mild liners in this really thin did bleed through so. so yeah always be cautious with your medium and make sure you know that you're protecting that all right so i have marjorie sarnat's creative christmas and i did one in here and i did the cute little kissing elves i used some gel pens and some um i actually used the jelly roll uh glaze on the little berries but i'm going to be honest with you guys I really like the glossy accents a lot better than the glaze. To me, they do better. So I think I'm going to start sticking with glossy accents instead of the glaze pens in the future. So, yeah. But, you know, I've got glaze pens, so I'm going to use them until they're gone. All right, so I've got Fairy Magic Color by Number by Color Questopia. Again, this is a white background book. And let's see what I did. I can't remember if I did one or two. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of flipping. I think it's only one. All right. I did, maybe it's two. I did this one here. This is Tarot Tree Markers with um, just Dollar Tree gel pens in the back. They're like eight for a dollar at um, Dollar Tree. So you can't go wrong there. Yep, I did that one. Okay, we're starting to approach the end. Well, we're almost to my PDFs. <laughs> oh, I colored more than I thought. Okay, I colored this one in Cute Christmas Holiday Coloring Book. And this one. Again, these are those dual hybrid type gel pens. So is around the tree here. And this and the gloves and everything. So it gives you kind of a, a better look at that. And the nose is also. So this those GCSMs. It's got some others mixed in, like in the snow and stuff. But the hat and the tree and stuff is those dual hybrid ones. So you could get a better look. And I really like those a lot, to be honest, guys. Okay. Oh, so sorry. Okay. So this is Creative Haven Christmas Trees Coloring Book. It's by Barbara Lanza. I did this one, and I believe I did this maybe as, was this a speed color? I can't remember. But I was really, really digging this picture, but then I went in and I didn't really understand truly how to use the distress type inks. And I just started putting these dots and I'm not sure that I like the way that looks, but yeah, I need to work with those inks a little more to figure that out. But I did that one. I don't know that I did another one. Yeah, I didn't think I did. Let me see. Double check. Nope. <clears throat> so that's Creative Haven Christmas Trees. And then this is my Ava Brown Christmas Critters. Oh, goodness. Camera's locked up, guys. Give me just a minute. There we go. I'll try to edit that out. Okay, so this is my Christmas Critters coloring book by Ava Brown. And I colored this image for my review. I did a base of alcohol marker. I did go in and add a little bit of pencil and some white gel pen to this as well. Okay. 
again, thank you, Paul and Lindsay, for sending this to me for review. I enjoyed it so much. And then I have a unicorn coloring book by Color Questopia. This is the white background book also, as you can see from the image. I love unicorns. Unicorns are my jam. And I did this BB here. <clears throat> Teo tree markers. And then I came back in with gel pens for the lines. It was a lot of fun. Loved it. And I have not gotten the video for this up yet, guys. And I am so sorry. Um, it's coming. <laughs> I promise promise but I do have 100 cute animals Jade Summer um, and I did this guy here and I did him as a speed color and it needs to get up on the channel I'll get it there I promise getting sick just kind of and everybody getting sick just kind of threw everything everything off keys so but it is coming eventually um, if it doesn't come this month, it's going to be too late for this, huh? Because I did do the little Jimmy Cricket type image here with all the candy canes. And I did that with a marker base. I did try to go back in with pencils to just kind of shade them. So, yeah. All right, now on to my PDFs. And then we will do my buddy colors and we will be done. Give me just a second. Okay, now I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have totally forgot to write book names on these. So I'm going to do the best I can to remember. This is from Alexandria Damaman's new Christmas book. And I forgot this star right here. Look at me, Deb. Laugh at me. I know you are. But anyway, I was feeling pretty bad when I colored this. So I'm happy it even got down, but she has released a new number three to her Christmas books. And that is what this one came from. So, I mean, it was fun to color, but I wasn't feeling very good. And then this is from Deborah Muller's new Christmas book. I cannot remember the name of it. Saved my life right now, but it's her brand new one. Just came out, I think, last week. This is from that same book, and it's like the title page, and I use glossy accents and glitter gel pen, Stardust, or Wink Stella, and everything on there. And then this is upside down. <laughs> this is also Alexandria Damerman's new Christmas three book. We started this in the color and chat the other night when I was chatting with you guys, and my face just started getting so hot. So I did finish it up. Um, with some gel pens and things to get it finished and used with Estella to kind of give the snow globe effect. I don't even know that you can really make that out. Maybe a little. Okay. Again, upside down. Okay, guys. I, I'm going to call it a loss on this one. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Um... Mm. For some reason, I'm thinking this is Tatiana Bogama's Christmas. It's either that or maybe Sassy Coloring. Please forgive me, but I think it's Tatiana Bogama's. I really do from her Christmas book. All right. Oh, I guess this was correct. This is Tabitha Barnett. This was from Christmas Circles. Um, I've had this book for probably two years now, or the PDF, and I pointed this out to color. I think it turned out really cute. Um, I stayed very pastel with it, and I like the way the pastels turned out. And, oh, cool. I actually used Teo Tree Markers, Jelly Roll Stardust, Jelly Roll Glaze, and this was from Christmas Circles 2.
This is also from Christmas Circles 2 with Teo Tree Markers, Jelly Roll Glaze, Jelly Roll Stardust, and Sparkle Pop Gold. And then I did this one. This is from Alexandria Dannerman's Christmas 2. I used Prismacolor Pencil, Spectrum New York Glitter Ink, Pentel Sparkle Pop Gold, Glitter Paint Pen, Jelly Roll Glaze, and Jelly Roll Stardust to complete this one. So yeah, this is pencils. So again, I use my pencils. Yay! Go Donna, go. Go Donna, go. <clears throat> okay, now for my buddy colors. Yay! So much fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this would count for Buddy Colorthon, for Shayna, Jamie, and Lavella. I believe it was Lavella. Um, their hashtag. And I just really enjoyed Buddy coloring. It was it was a lot of fun. It was new to me. So I did this Deborah Muller. Um, it's her mermaid uh, Christmas book. And I used Prisma Color Premier pencils. Um, I did give it a marker base. I used um, glossy accents, some gel pens also. And this was with a buddy color with the a beautiful Madison. Thank you, Madison, so much for buddy coloring this with me. Um, I had loads of fun and you guys can see Madison's finished picture right here. Okay, thank you so much again, Madison. That was so much fun. And then I did a buddy color with the beautiful Monet from Oh Monet, Oh Monet. It just went, the coloring diva. She has a channel here on YouTube. <laughs> and this was my image that I colored um, in the buddy color with Monet. And I enjoyed it so much. I did, again, use some glossy accents. Boy, I am loving these glossy accents. And they seem to last forever. So I love that. And I used some glitter gel pens. And I used my Arteza pencils. And some alcohol marker for this background here. And I believe for this background here. Yep. And yes, I enjoyed it. I had so much fun. And you can see Monet's beautiful completed image right here. Thank you again so much, Monet. I enjoyed doing the buddy color with you so much. Now, these buddy colors had three people participating in it. I have two more. Um, and it was, these buddy colors are between myself, Deb, and Kim Trainer. They are both wonderful, beautiful people. And... Oops, <laughs> my glossy accents, I guess, weren't quite dry when I closed the book. Okay, so this is the image that I colored, and um, I used, I believe these are also my Arteza, Arteza pencils, and I used um, some glitter gel pens and glossy accents. Excuse me, I'm so sorry if you guys heard that. I keep belching and I don't understand why. Okay, so you can see Deb's picture right here. Thank you so much, Deb. I think you did a wonderful job and I love it so, so much. And then you can see Kim's picture right here.
Thank you so much, Kim, for um, wanting to do this buddy color. It was so much fun, and I think Deb and I both enjoyed it. And I'm sorry, you guys, that I keep going here, but that's how I know when I'm editing where I need to drop these photos. So I got to give myself these little hints here and there. So I've never had to do so much editing as I'm going to have to do in this video. <laughs> so this should be fun. I need to drop myself little clues. Okay, so thank you ladies so much for that. And I have one more buddy color and then that will be the end of my month. Myself, Deb and Kim Trainer did a picture in Johanna Bassford's Johanna's Christmas. And we did this one. This is my picture. Um, I used fine liners, I used pencils, I used um, glossy accents, I used glitter, um, like stickles. I, <laughs> I threw a lot at this, this picture and I enjoyed it very, very much. And you guys can see Deb's picture right here. Thank you, Deb. I think you did a beautiful job with your picture. And you guys can see Kim Trainer's picture right here. Thank you so much, Kim. I truly enjoyed this um, buddy color more than you guys know. All right, so that is it for me for the month of November. Whew, that was a lot of coloring. I did not realize I had done that much. Ugh. So yeah, thank you guys so much for showing up and seeing this. As always, my links are down in the description below if you saw anything that you might be interested in yourself. Um, please consider going through my link. It, it's an Amazon affiliate link. I just get a few pennies um, and it means so much. It helps the channel. It helps me be able to buy things um, to use here for content as well as possible giveaways and things like that in the future. So thank you guys so much. Um, I had a blast doing this video, video with you guys. Um, again, this is my first time with this mic. I don't know how this is going to turn out. So Here's hoping the sound was okay. So I love you guys beyond measure. And until next time, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye, guys.